Natalie Sather here with tonight's New Egypt Speedway winner, Darren Pittman. Now, we were talking before the races, and you said how much you like this track, and you came here last year with your team, the 27, and you definitely showed that you love this track tonight by winning. Yeah, I just had a good car all night. We were fast from hot laps and uh, time trials. Every time we hit the track, I felt like uh, we had the best car. Uh, draw, you know, put us back a little bit in the dash, but we were able to rebound from that and get a good finish. So, honestly, uh, you know, just couldn't ask for a better night. I mean, I uh, felt like uh, it, it's always fun when you feel like you have the best car, and it's even better when you're able to, you know, put it to use all night long and, and come out with a win. So it's a huge win for us uh, to get our sixth of the year, uh, put this back on top of uh, most of the year, so or fourth, fifth of the year anyway, and uh, we're really enjoying it. We definitely capitalized on lap traffic there, making the pass, and Sammy in turn one and two. Yeah, um, you know, he just uh, was kind of opening up off of four and getting tight, and, and uh, we were just really good running around the bottom, and uh, kind of knew that'd be the key as wet as the track was. So. Just made sure I hit my marks and uh, did everything I could, uh, you, you know, to do my job. And our car was good enough to stick down there. And uh, just made sure once I got to the lead that uh, we just didn't open it up for him to drive back by us. So, uh, like I said, Kale, Colton, and uh, Michael Carver, they just do a great job. And uh, just gives us a lot of momentum going back home. And uh, obviously, hopefully, Casey will be happy. And uh, we'll go to Charlotte and uh, try to win another one. Well, hopefully, Casey is happy. And I noticed your wife and your daughter in victory lane. And one thing people don't, they might not know, is how much of a family sport this really is. Yeah, it's uh, a lot of fun when, when they're here and, and uh, really takes a lot away from it when, the, when they're not here and you do win. Uh, it definitely uh, puts a smile on my face to be able to see them. Family's obviously a big part of everything and obviously, you know, just leaves me up to just want to say, uh, you know, our prayers to everybody back in Oklahoma. Uh, it's pretty close to home. Got some friends that actually lived in the neighborhood there and uh, just unbelievable the devastation that uh, those people are going through and just uh, praying that they can uh, have the strength to try to get through it and uh, definitely that they're on our minds. Thank you, Darren. Congratulations tonight. All right. Thanks. Appreciate it. Well, Sammy, you won the dash, <laughs> and uh, unfortunately, you lost it there to Darren Pittman in lap traffic. Tell me what happened down in turn one and two. Well, it was just uh, a guy had been staying on the bottom pretty tight, so I tried to go around him, and then uh, he wound up slipping up. So, just kind of pushed me wide, and you know, left a hole open for Darren. And you know, we were pretty close. I mean, he, you know, he might have had a little better car, but I mean, it was so close. And then when we get in traffic, it's like nobody could go anywhere, and. Uh, you know, we just did the best we could and, and, and you know, still got the second. So, it, you know, you kind of hate to start on the front and not finish there. But, uh, you know, the car's in one piece and, and we'll work on it and, um, you know, go from there. But, uh, you know, we've been struggling so much. So those a lot of those guys haven't. So uh, they, they've got their uh, systems down pat and we're still learning ours. So, you know, I think we're going to be better, uh, you know, hopefully from now on. Like you said, you've been struggling this year so far, and you know you've trying to learn more and more about these tires. But you're a quick learning. You seem to be picking up really quick, and things have turned around so far this season right now. Yeah, well, well, since the, you know we, we we changed around here, you know we got Randy Wolf help on us. I mean, it's made a made a big big help, and uh, you know Al Parker's got us some better motors, and 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 the Eagles got us some better. You know, everybody's doing their job. I mean, the guys at Super Shocks are giving us some better shocks, so. I mean, everything's getting more dialed in, and, and um, you know, the guys at Weld have even been helping us with some stuff. So, um, you know, we've had different headers from Sean. I mean, everything's different from what we've ever run before. So we've got to put it together, and uh, we're, we're close, so uh, we'll just keep hammering on it. Well, if anybody can do it, I know you can, and keep it up because I like interviewing yeah. you. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Sammy. Yeah, good deal. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. I'm here with tonight's third place finisher, Jason Sides. Now, Jason, you uh, kind of struggled in your heat a little bit uh, with the bump coming off of turn four, and you ran second in the dash, but unfortunately kind of lost a little ground on the start of that race. Yeah, it, it was pretty good. Uh, you know, um, Sammy got out to a little bit of a lead, and then Par Dim Darren got right past us there uh, off, I think, uh, was a four. And, yeah, uh, you know, we were just kind of going to bide our time, and then about the second or third lap, it broke a rock arm, and uh, it, it started spraying fuel everywhere, and I wasn't sure if I should pull in or not. You know, I was kind of waiting. If there was going to be a caution, I was going to really just pull in and uh, and go, but since it did go green, we just stayed out there and, and uh, got a good run. I mean, you know, any time that you can run top three with a broke motor, I mean, that's still pretty good, but, uh, you know, Fidgey's been working his butt off, and uh, we've been down a little bit on motors and things, so it's, it's coming back around now, so we should be pretty good for the rest of the year. Yeah, I heard your motor coming down the front straight away. It didn't sound too good, but you were able to hold off. You know, last night's third-place finisher, Tony Stewart, with a broken motor. That's got to feel good. Yeah, it really does. And, I mean, anytime you know, run with these guys and uh, get a top three, it, uh, it really means something. So, uh, you know, we're just proud to be out here and uh, keep plugging away. Well, keep up the good work, Jason. Thank you. Thanks, Natalie.